next we're going to start third part of advanced routing so the topics that we're going to cover they are scrap and its effects and within scrap there are three types of scrap that we'll be covering they are assembly scrap component scrap operation scrap then we we'll also cover production resources and tools and PRT categories so let us start with a business example of scrap so what is the use of scrap and where we're going to use scrap so in real time what happens is scrap is one of the important feature or functionality of a manufacturing process for example if I'm going to assemble a pump or I'm going to manufacture XYZ component probably say I'm going to use some raw materials and the one of the raw material could be nuts and bolts could be some screws could could be some uh, gaskets could be some washers so in real time what happens is if I'm going to manufacture thousand pieces of the pump then and if I'm going to use say thousand pieces of the nut and bolts as well but in real time what happens is during the manufacturing some of the nuts and bolts uh, may be overused for example if I plan for thousand we might use maybe 1010 we might use 1030 we might use 1040 so that's a scrap that in real time some of the components that we're going to use may be damaged they get damaged or could be XYZ reason they can't be used so that means we overusing the components so that's called scrap so the scrap can be a we can calculate the scrap as a percentage basis so we can say roughly that okay for screws we want to use the scrap factor as say 2% for nuts and bolts we want to use scrap as say 3% so that's type that is the scrap and that we can define at different levels in SAP manufacturing processes so let's see some business example first as a production planner or scheduler several of the production processes that you are responsible for scheduling are quite complex and yield loss is quite high to assure that you deliver enough good production to inventory you need to factor in these losses ahead of time so obviously we need to make the purchase accordingly if we want to if we're going to use extra um, raw material as a part of the scrap obviously we need to make sure that the enough stock is there in the inventory you want to examine the options in the bill of material the material master and the routing so you can properly model your scrap allowance so in this topic we're going to see that how we can maintain the scrap in the material master in the bill of material and also in the routing at different levels so types of scraps as we just discussed there are three types of scrap and here as in the screen you can see we got first one we got is um, assembly scrap this is used um, so we'll discuss one by one in a minute um, then we got component scrap and the third one is we got operation scrap and this is a net indicator we'll discuss in a minute as well so let us start with operation scrap so this increase increases requirement quantity of all the components maintained in the material master of the assembly so what assembly scrap means let me show you here assembly scrap so as the name is saying assembly the scrap that will be calculated for assembly so for example uh, say we got a finished goods just say FG finished good of what is finished good is the final product so we can say it's a pump we get making a pump or whatever and it got some in the bomb you got different raw materials so you, go, you got the first raw material as just say X component second raw material is Y component third is Z component and so on we got some other components as well so we can maintain the scrap at the finish good level at this level that means if I say that assembly scrap here if I say assembly 
scrap here is say 2% for example that means defining the assembly scrap at finish code level that means 2% for all the components so whatever components we are using in the bomb they all will be calculated 2% extra so this one will be 2% extra same goes for the remaining components so all the components will be calculated 2% extra because this is an assembly scrap so that means assembly scrap will be valid for all the components that we are using in the bill of material so where do we maintain the assembly scrap in the material master record so here if I show you if I go to MM02 here in the material master and if you go to the MRP4 tab here uh, sorry not MRP4 MRP1 so here see assembly scrap so here I can maintain the scrap so for example if I said 2% here so that means 2% for all the components that is defined in the bomb so that's assembly scrap I can save it so if I look at the bomb CS02 for this material so all these components will be using 2% extra as a part of this functionality let's see some theory about assembly scrap first then we'll move on assembly scrap you use this function to plan the scrap that results from the production of an assembly assembly scrap increases the order quantity of the assembly and subsequently increase the order quantity for each component in the bomb of the assembly by adjusting the quantity of the dependent requirement generated during the MRP run so MRP will be planning MRP will see later on what it is so the automatic planning process which is known as MRP will be planning extra uh, quantity as per the scrap quantity the system automatically increases the quantity to be produced by the percentage of scrap so that means in the bill of material system will automatically add extra scrap quantity so if 100 pieces to make 100 pieces we need 100 pieces of raw material x and 2% is the assembly scrap system will be adding 2% for each component so each component will be added 2% extra in the bill of material um, in the um, production order quantity so if I open a production order say again as I said we'll discuss about production order later on in a separate topic but CO03 if I open this production order you can click on this little button component overview on the top click on that or press FS, F6 this will be reading the bomb so it's saying that I'm going to use this bomb so this is a quantity in the bomb and these are the components in the bomb we're going to use so system will automatically increase this all these components by 2% as a part of the scrap assembly scrap that is assembly scrap <coughs> now we'll discuss about the component scrap so the component scrap which is the second one here is increase required quantity for a component so here we're not only talking about that particular component only so one component we can increase the um, quantity so it can be maintained in the bomb or it can be maintained maintain in the material master so you can enter in material master or bomb in either of them so let me show you so in the material master if I open material master and if you go to the MRP4 tab here you can maintain component scrap say if I say 3% so 3% is for this component only that means talk about component scrap so this means wherever this component is used so this is something used for raw materials basically we will be using for something like raw materials or bomb component you can say raw materials or bomb components you can say bomb components so wherever this material is used for example this component is say whatever the raw material is is used in so many bomb uh, bombs okay so many bombs so all of the bomb wherever it is used and finally so what, what will happen is I'll say raw material RM raw material will be used in where in the bombs not one bomb maybe say it is used in 100 bombs because the same raw material used to make say 100 different types of finished products so it will be obviously used in the hundreds of bombs